Hey you guys, welcome back to Heartway Farms. Today we wanna show you what we stocked up on this week, uh, specifically cleaning products and toiletries. So let's take a look. All right, so each week as we are stockpiling and prepping and you know harvesting everything from uh, the garden or harvesting our chickens, which we just did, um, we've been staying very busy, right? So today we wanna show you all the different cleaning supplies and uh, reusable products and uh, toiletries, all these different things that we are stockpiling on right now. These are things we use anyway, so this one was, was pretty easy. Um, to show you guys because these are the things that we've kind of transitioned to over the years anyway But if you haven't seen our other stocking videos, make sure you go check them out We sat down and we showed you guys and talked about how to Wrap your mind around this idea of prepping for your family. We are a family of eight That's a lot of people to feed and to think about how how do I start? How do I even begin this process? and we talk about breaking it down into meal plans and making it easier that way. So go check out that video, we'll link it here. And also, I think it was last week, we showed you what we stocked up on when we went to Michigan, mostly dry goods and stuff like that. But check out that video, we'll link that here. But today, we're talking about all of this stuff that's on the table. So let's start with cleaning products in the house, okay? Um, so years ago, I did away with traditional cleaners. I don't like the chemicals in the house. I don't like the fra fake fragrances in the house. All of these things are awful for you and for your family. They're just on every toxic list that you can find. So we have done away with that. And I actually really like our homemade cleaner. It smells clean and it is very effective. So um, I'm just gonna tell you the ingredients that are in our homemade cleaner and you'll see that we're stocking these things. So first, um, well, water, that's easy. Rubbing alcohol, ammonia, and some kind of dish soap. We will get down to that in a minute, but any kind of dish soap, if you wanna use all natural dish soap, if you wanna use Dawn, if you wanna use whatever, off-brand you can. I will do a video in the future about uh, the recipe that I use for the homemade cleaner because it really is the best. I use it on uh, windows, on mirrors, on toilets and sinks and all of that. And I mean, I make it for tiny fraction of the cost that it would that it would cost you to buy a brand new bottle at the store of a, a bleach cleaner or anything like that. So I have invested over the years in several of these reusable bottles and then I make a batch. It makes a little over a quart at a time when I make it and I divided it into my bottles and we are good to go for a long time. So that's why we have stocked up on our alcohol, our ammonia, and the, the soap is down there. So that's Literally, I use that for everything for in everything. the house. You can even use that on... Use it on our hardwood surfaces. On the, strong, but not strong enough to where it eats through them. It doesn't damage the hardwood, um, and it works great on, on every surface. And uh, talking in the same area as cleaning, you can absolutely use vinegar for cleaning your house. I don't love the smell of vinegar, but I have it if I need it. And so. Right. She loves the smell of vinegar. I have kids that'll walk in and be like, ew, vinegar, but Julianne likes the smell. So vinegar is another uh, very cheap way to clean your house and it's effective. You can even add in essential oils if you want to make it smell better. You can actually add essential oils into my homemade cleaner too, but I like the smell of the rubbing alcohol. It just smells clean. It smells <laughs> sterile, which is what you want, you know, when you're cleaning your house. I like it to smell clean. Okay, so homemade cleaner supplies we stocked up on. Um, I only use one cup of this at a time, one tablespoon of the ammonia at a time, and literally a drop of soap. So, like a drop, one drop. And so that, when I stock up on these cleaning products, they last me a long time. The only product I go through the, you know, more quickly is the rubbing alcohol. Okay, so vinegar can be used to clean your drains, it can be used to clean your mirrors and your sinks and all of that, same thing. You can I also use, use it for the homemade soap. Yes, Julian makes her own soap, so we need that to uh, neutralize the lye. Lionel. All the soap stuff. All the soap stuff, okay. So Okay, so besides our homemade cleaner, I'm just gonna skip over here real quick and we'll get here for other reasons later, but when we're cleaning the house, 
whether we're, you know, in survival mode or not, that's the cleaner I use, and this is what I use to clean. Um, I use baking soda to clean toilets. So that's that is my cleaning cabinet, mm -hmm. and that is it, and it works great. And really, you save yourself money, and there's so many dual purposes. Obviously, you can bake with baking soda. Um, you can. Uh, brush your teeth with baking soda. You can do all sorts of things with baking soda, so it's great. Okay, so that is my cleaning closet. I made reference last time that I was absolutely not stocking up on toilet paper, and I'm also not stocking up on paper towel, because we, it would, we, these things are great, they're fine, There's, I'm not anti these things. However, it's so easy to just have reusable. If you wanna be stocking, instead of spending all your money on these paper products that you're just gonna throw away or burn or whatever, you might as well invest in your reusable things. Okay, so a microfiber cloth, cloth napkins, washcloths, they, these will all do the job just as efficiently and just as good as paper towel. Yeah, you can't throw them away, but you don't need to worry about spending. I mean, paper towel and, and um, toilet paper are so expensive, so if you're trying to stock your home, in my opinion, I would much rather stock on things that are that would feed my family, that would clean my family and take care of them. So I'm trying to avoid any of that kind of stuff that we're stocking. You can totally just invest in a few microfiber cloths, a few washcloths that can get the job done and that's all you need to do. And for your floors, I have a Swiffer and instead of spending the money on those reusable things, I just use a washcloth that's large and I fill up the sink or a bucket with soapy water and I, you can even use some of our cleaning solution or essential oils or vinegar and clean your floors with that. Our whole house is um, hardwood floors so I can use that in the vacuum and then that's it and it's done. Okay, so that's all the cleaning products. Now let's talk about personal hygiene. <laughs> Julianne is a bit of an inspiration when it comes to finding creative ways and natural ways to replace products in the home. Um, she was the first one to try the apple, apple cider vinegar in the hair. Yes. Right? I think it was grandma. Did grandma show, teach you about that? Um, yes, I'm using the homemade soap, but I just did it like adding to my normal hair care routine. Okay, so when you are prepping things, for your shower, for your bathroom, and all of that, that can get very expensive. So we have found some ways around that that work. And honestly, you can do all of these things even if you're not prepping, if you just want to switch over to more natural ways of doing things. But let's say you can't go to the store for a little while or something is sold out because people hoarded it, like toilet paper last time. Um, you can go to the store and one of the there are cheap shampoos if you want, but I really don't like having the cheap stuff in the house. It's full of chemicals, it's full of fragrances that are hormone disruptors, all this bad stuff. So a way to do that is to buy Castile soap. Castile soap, this is, I have two lavenders and I have a peppermint and they have other great scents if you want something different. But they, um, for Castile soap, you can dilute it to use it for hand soap. You can use it for shampoo yes. and body body wash if you want. Uh, I still stick by that you would use bars of soap, but we'll talk yeah. about that in a minute. But Castile soap can, can replace all of that stuff. Now, natural soaps and shamp like natural shampoos or natural sh soap options, oh my goodness, I can't They behave it. very differently than the commercial ones. So why do you, tell us about how you use the apple cider vinegar then. So what I do, I use this as like a, it helps with conditioner or it can be standalone as just conditioner. So what I do is I get about a quart of water and add to it like three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, mix it up, and then after shampooing my hair, you just dump it in your hair, massage it in, and let it sit for a couple minutes and then rinse it out. And that can be used as just conditioner. And she does this anyway. <laughs> Look at her beautiful hair. No. Um, so, <laughs> so when you are using natural shampoo, there's, it's just different. Our hair, if you buy commercial shampoo and conditioner, your hair is used to all the chemicals. So when you are going through the process of switching from conventional to natural, you're going to get greasy hair. Yes. And the way to avoid the greasy hair is the apple cider vinegar. You might have a little transition time, but let's say you have bars of soap and you don't have shampoo in your stockpile. You can use a bar of soap in your hair, but you're going to need to cut that with 
using your apple cider vinegar as a conditioner. And I know you moms out there, if you've never heard of this, you're freaking out and you're like, how am I gonna get the tangles out of my kid's hair? But it works, it actually does it. And it feels different and weird, I've but- I've got long, thick hair. It and works, she, and she does it. So, you know, you brush off the hair before the shower, and then you do the process, and it's it's all good. So you can use Castile soap as a shampoo. I would definitely dilute it, make it last longer. It smells really nice. This is the off-brand. Um, it's half the price. You know, I, I like supporting the small names and the small stores, but when you're stockpiling, sometimes that's really hard, especially when you have six kids, it gets really, really expensive, so you have to weigh out those things. So, you can turn that into a shampoo, hand soap, body wash if you want, but instead of using that as a body wash, I'm gonna come over here. Julianne makes our own um, homemade bars of soap, and this is, if you guys can stock up on bars of soap, if you can kind of get over the idea of needing body wash or something like that. This is all we use. This is our preference daily for yes. our faces, for our bodies, and it just smells great. So if you don't have a local farm or farmer's market um, or someone on Etsy or whatever that you can order from, you know, the bars of soap are the way to go. They are shelf stable. You get a long life out of them. And um, it's, it's usually almost always more natural than using, yes. you know, a store-bought body wash for sure. Yeah, hard soaps are pretty much always cleaner than most liquid soaps are. With the exception of these, these are like the same exact ingredients. Like I said, these are more expensive than if you were just buying a conventional body wash that you were stocking up on. So that is your shower. So that's your soap, your shampoo, your conditioner, <laughs> apple, cider apple cider vinegar, who would have thought that was conditioner. Beyond that, we also have to stock up on some ingredients in our house like beeswax and stuff like that because Julianne also makes her own lip balm and lotion, gold lotion. Again, if you can find a local farmer's market or somebody who makes these things homemade, you're going to save yourself a lot of money than if you're buying them store-bought. So we make sure that we have olive oil and beeswax. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Vitamin E oil. The I different essential it. oils that we like to put in it, like lavender and other things. Yeah, right? and those are super easy to make yourself, too. We have videos. Soap. Yeah, it's we have easy. videos on that. If you want to learn how to make some homemade lotion that will last you forever and not go bad, and you definitely will save money, we have videos on Go Lotion and on the lip balm that we can link, and you guys can go check out if you ever have, a, have an interest in learning how to make those things on your own. And soap also. Soap as well. Bigger. It's a little bit bigger, bigger of a project, deal. Yeah, it was fun. a little bit of a bigger deal, but that's okay. Okay, so we, um, this is something, uh, let's talk about toothpaste. This is not an area where I'm saving money. <laughs> um, we have, we're, we slowly build up our stockpile. We like um, uh, earth paste is something that's really easy to stock up on, and it's, it's pretty affordable for a natural clay-based toothpaste. So we have some of those that we are stocking up on slowly because I can't break the bank. Mm -hmm. I also picked up some triple antibiotic cream because I have six kids. Let's keep it real. Some hydrocortisone cream because I have six kids. And bugs. And bugs. <laughs> and a farm. Two products that we've stocked up on and you don't need a lot of this which is nice but is... Now these last you are a long time. Activated charcoal. And then this is the Bentonite. Bentonite clay. Sorry, I don't look at the label. Bentonite clay. If you don't have toothpaste stocked up, you can brush your teeth with activated charcoal. If you have an upset tummy, you can take ingest a little bit of activated charcoal. You can use it for make a paste, put it on bug bites, poison ivy, other skin issues, and also that. Same thing with this. The clay. It works well. Again, I have kids, and and we're out working in the farm, and I have. Daddy, I have yeah. Josh, <laughs> he got attacked by a bunch <laughs> of bees the other day. So um, having these things around to draw out anything um, is good. You can use these things on your face. You know, you can use all sorts of uses for these. So we always keep these stocked up. Um, I, these are expensive, so I only buy small amounts, not large amounts. That, you don't go through them very quickly at all. No, they're slow and steady. Okay, I said I was not stocking up on toilet paper. I refuse to spend hundreds of dollars on toilet paper. When, it, when COVID happened originally, um, all the all the drama at the beginning of it, at least by us and I believe other places of the country, uh, toilet paper, paper towels, 
any paper products were pretty much gone. Gone off the shelf, they were limit limiting them. And listen, I'm a big fan of toilet paper. I'm a big fan of paper towel, like baby wipes. I am cool with those things, they are great. However, I couldn't help but think to myself, why in the world are people stocking up on toilet paper and paper towels? Like if, if things are really kind of going south a little bit, I'd rather why? Have a bag of rice than a package of toilet paper. <laughs> why wouldn't you have food? Or why wouldn't you be spending your money on things to feed your family or clean your family? And so, um, you know, I didn't buy into all that frenzy. And um, I'm, I, if it happens again, I'm not gonna buy into it again. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna talk to you real quick about the different options in the toiletry realm if you don't want to waste your money on stuff that you flush down the toilet, literally. Stop money down the toilet. The way this all came about is back in the day, I did cloth diapers for my kids. And so the idea of this did not scare me at all, okay? The idea of reusable wipes in a bathroom um, did not freak me out. And my kids all remember this. You can wash, you know, dirty clothes and dirty cloths and all of that stuff. So if you are, I just want to present this an idea. I know it's weird to talk about toilet stuff, but let's just talk about it. In the U.S., we have not embraced the idea of a bidet, but in many, many, many other parts of the world, they totally embrace the idea of a bidet. And this is just a homemade bidet, okay? So I'm going to show you the things that I have in case you can't get toilet paper, okay? Um, a little squirt bottle that can squirt water. That's to clean yourself when you're on the toilet after you're done. And um, I was talking about when I used cloth diapers for my children, I also made cloth wipes that I reused. And, um, you know, at first it's different, but then you figure out the process and it's super easy. So I love when I make like homemade, so this is homemade reusable toilet paper, that's what I'm gonna call it. And I have these little, mine are cute little baby ones because they are back and still working great from when I had little kids and I made my own cloth wipe solution. These are little washcloths. And what I did when my kids were little and what I could do again if I needed to is I made a little solution to put my homemade wipes in. And that solution was just water. I used lavender Castile soap because it smells so nice and I used jojoba oil. Now you don't even need to use the jojoba oil if you don't want to spend the money on it. The, the Castile soap or any kind of gentle, natural soap would work just the same. So in your bathroom, you can have a little um, tub of some kind or like a little bowl or, or something, a Tupperware that has a lid that seals. And you will put your dry wipes in and then you make your solution and you you get these wet so that in, in your bathroom, you would have wet cloths if you needed to use that after using the restroom. And then you would also have a stack if you wanted of dry cloths. So, and this was a deal that I got. Actually, these I just restocked up on too because you know how washcloths and towels kind of get dingy after a while. These, um, these cloths were a pack of 18 for like three dollars at Walmart. So it was very cheap. So I have restocked a bunch of those. Those can be cleaned, those can be bleached and be taken care of. So you have you know, your wet um, baby wipes <laughs> and dry ones for yourself. So the combination of those things is really all you need. And then just like I did when I had little kids, I had a little container or a little garbage can with like a, a bag in it, something that I could put the dirty cloths in and they could be soaked and washed. And it's that easy. It doesn't have to be that overwhelming. If things were really that challenging, it's this is like not that big of a deal of a thing that we could implement. And we have all the, the materials if we need them. And it would be easy, easy, easy to implement with a little bit of adjusting on where things are in the bathroom. So it's really not that bad, right? That doesn't freak you out, does it? No. She's not the one to ask though because she's always pushing us to our natural limits here with different things. She likes us to be more natural. All right, and I will make this brief for our gentlemen viewers, but using um, reusable feminine products, um, are, it's are the easy way to go. That's something that we already had kind of began. It's better for you and it's cheaper anyhow. Yeah, we had already implemented that and those can be found on Amazon. All right, let's talk about laundry next. Uh, this week I have gotten OxyClean, bleach, borax, baking soda, 
laundry, washing soda. washing soda, and Fels Naptha. Now listen, I know that there's 50% of you that are cool with making your own um, laundry detergent, laundry soap, and there's 50% of you that think it's a bad idea and it's gonna ruin your washer. I understand. Um, I've never had it ruin my washer. I've never had it ruin my septic system or anything like that. However, I'm having, I have a plan. If I couldn't access these things from a store, which right now I just have regular all natural laundry detergent that I buy from the store. And so that's what I'm using right now. But these are, these items are in my stockpile. I know how to make, you know, my homemade laundry soap with the borax, the washing soda, and the Fels naphtha, and then a little bit of lavender essential oils. So I know how to make that. And I did that for years and used it for years. And I was really happy with it. Um, I have not done that on this septic system, but if I needed to, and I couldn't access that, my thought was to make up the laundry soap and have, I have buckets and tubs downstairs that I could just soak the laundry and then put it in, then like rinse it and then put it into the wash so I don't take a chance and of- And you could throw some vinegar in there and that we, works well. We absolutely, you can wash your clothes in a washing machine with just vinegar. Unless, and the reason I do the OxyClean is because most clothes don't even require or need any kind of sober detergent unless they're really stained up or whatever. Then you can soak it in a separate bin with OxyClean, throw it into the wash with just your the white vinegar, white vinegar, a little bit of baking soda. So I just have some options. Bleach I keep around for, I don't use it that much. I use it white for white towels. towels. But that's like it. That's kind of like if I need it. So I don't really overdo it too much with bleach. This will last me a long time. Okay, so that's laundry. If you guys have any suggestions for like stocking up laundry that in an affordable way that's not going to break your washing machine, please let me know if you have found kind of a way to experiment with that and figure that out. Next, let's talk about free stuff. <laughs> okay, so these items were not anything that... I necessarily wanted. However, we have a Menards by us. And what does what happens when Daddy goes to Menards? He buys too much stuff. He buys too much stuff, and he comes up with stuff that I didn't even know I needed. It's amazing, but it's okay. In this case, I'm not I'm not that upset. So a lot of the times, um, Menards will do these rebates to where if you you know buy something, you get you know they rebate you back. And it's we're always are so free. Right, and we're always shopping at Menards because of needing um, materials for the farm here. That's where we go for like lumber and different things like that. So he came home with, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eight, 11, 12. 12. He came home, because the other two are over there. He came home with 12 dish soaps and these were 100% free. And I promise we did not even come close to buying out the amount that's in the store. They have like tons of these things. So this was not, not too bad. Um, he also came home with these kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses, and of course they have to put that it kills COVID on there. Um, of these wipes, uh, we will use these for all sorts of different things. I don't like using antibacterial stuff on our hands. They're not stuff. supposed to be for your hands too; they're too strong for that. These are like if we're you know harvesting chickens like we just did or whatever you know like you can wipe down the Surface. table surfaces and stuff. So these are more like medical things, and these were free as well. So these are just I mean you can always use. I know these are not like, con like you can reuse them a bunch of times, yeah. but they're not forever reusable. But these were free, so that was a perfect stockpile item. And I don't mind adding that to the stockpile. So this is just, you know, what we put in the pantry, in the stockpile downstairs for this week. And I know we're gonna keep on adding to things. <laughs> yeah, lots of things. <laughs> we have lots coming up. We harvested almost 80 birds a couple days ago, chickens. Um, we've raised our own meat birds, we raised them. We have a, a video on that if you wanna learn how to do that. That's something that you can uh, learn that skill to be able to stack up food for you and your family. So we'll link that video here. Um, it's an instructional video that gives you the complete how-to, how to do it. So we've been canning chicken, canning ground beef, Lots uh, of bone broth. Bone broth, because every time you do chicken, you make bone broth. We're doing tomatoes, so anyway. Stay tuned because the next video will be a lot of those products that we're doing and maybe you'll learn some new tips and tricks. I don't know. <laughs> learn something new in the process. So yeah, if you guys have any other ideas, please share them below in the comments on different like uh, toiletries and cleaning products that you're stocking up on. Help us out. Give us some new ideas. 
And uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful for you and your family. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. We are so happy to have you here. Please consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, sharing life with us as we're just, you know, we're living, living the dream, living on a farm. And uh, Josh and I are raising our six kids here in Illinois and uh, enjoying the ride. So we hope this had good information for you, that you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next video.